Hi there. Today I'd like to explain sfumato. It's a term which is thought to have originated with Leonardo da Vinci. It describes the fusing of one colour into another to achieve the subtle transitions of light and shade that create, in particular, the rounded forms of human figures. In Leonardo's time, the melting of figures into the background was achieved by the layering and fusing of transparent colours over a modelled underpainting to give the appearance of disappearing rounded edges. I'm making a mixture of one part stand oil to two of Sansador to give me a glazing vehicle with an extended drying time. I'll thin this colour with the mix. The longer drying time means that I can remove the glaze if I want to change its density. I can also continue to manipulate the glaze some time after applying, or to introduce other colours into the same layer. If time is critical, Liquin Original by Winsor & Newton is a great alternative. This glaze will not set up too quickly and drag the brush, so gives ample time for manipulation, but will dry in less than 24 hours. A more modern way of creating sfumato is to work with opaque colour and do the mixing on a palette. Here are some mixtures derived from a restricted palette for flesh, using yellow ochre pale, Venetian red, raw umber, ultramarine and titanium white. Here, where the form transitions into the background, two mixtures of the same tonal value but different hue sit side by side. We could use the term lost edges to describe the effect this has. By fusing the edge with the space around it, we can turn the edge into the background and place greater emphasis on the centre of the form to bring it forward. This is Sfumato. I hope you found this useful.